Our excessive hyperconsumption is among the most unsustainable of all human activities. 62% of global greenhouse gas emissions are released from processes involved in the extraction, processing, and manufacturing of physical goods. In Western societies, we own way more things than we actually need. It's a simple fact. Don't you have an old mobile phone in your drawer or a sewing machine somewhere just in, comes, just in case it comes in handy? Maybe there's an unused tent in your garage that you've been meaning to take camping. These are, of course, just some random examples, but they illustrate that many of us possess multiple functional things that lay idle most of the time. What if, instead of buying a lot of stuff and keeping it hidden, we could share and give everyone access to a collection of things? The core mission of the Thingery project is to establish an open online platform and central physical locations where people get access to borrowing things, the same way we borrow books in the library today. I love libraries. I've been borrowing books and music there since I was a kid. I've always thought people who work in libraries are kind and clever people, and they really teach us to share. Today, I have kids of my own. Both them and I are concerned about the state of our planet. I want to show them that we're taking action and that we are starting to fix the future. I want my kids to grow up in a future where we share more, a future that makes sense. The Thingery Project is greatly inspired by the work of our local library in Bergen and the entire growing family of libraries of things around the world. What differentiates our project at this stage is our open, secure, and easy to use system. I'm currently an engineer at the Faculty of Fine Art, Music, and Design at the University of Bergen. The web-based Thingery solution is built on my previous work on a borrowing app called Pigify. About a year ago, I got introduced to the sustainable living movement, who also shared the vision to create a library of things. And in cooperation, we've built a model which is set to activate unused resources, create a sharing culture, and implement an incentive structure which is set to reward people who donate things. If, if someone forgets to return a thing in time or wants to extend a borrowing period, they can do so for a small fee, which could either be split with the person who donated the thing or be allocated to repairs and maintenance of that equipment. Our core activity aligns with multiple of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The social benefits of implementing thingeries in local communities will reduce inequality as it gives everyone access to things that would otherwise need to be bought or rented. It also brings citizens, neighbors, and friends together. The Thingery will be a local sharing hub where people can learn new skills on how to use or repair the equipment and share knowledge through workshops and lectures. I truly believe borrowing can replace ownership in many aspects of personal needs for things. Free access to equipment that we use occasionally has a substantial economic benefit. With the thingery up and running, people will, as an example, be able to borrow many of the tools needed for a home improvement project. This way, the money saved is money earned. Concepts and systems for saving our planet's finite resources and preserving what is left of our environment is becoming a demand from our children and young people of today. They want to take action right away. They want tangible systems that match their desire to pursue responsible consumption. In our thingery, we can activate the idle capacity of products and optimize the utilization of collective things through our online portal and centralized hubs. 
And by reusing and repairing items in stock, we can maximize their lifetime. Our main focus is on collecting and lending out things that make people explore new skills, pursue their areas of interest and activities, and that uh, aids and simplifies their everyday life. We are especially interested in facilitating the borrowing of things that foster outdoor activities and learning. Let's make sensible change and start using the resources we already have available in a better way. Thank you.